All right, so let's go ahead and we'll jump into the next part of this section. So hopefully you were able to um, get those definitions down because um, we're going to be working with them a lot. Um, as I'm planning this next week, um, you're going to have to be pretty comfortable with all of those words that were introduced to you on Friday. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. So this is the next part. So um, we're taking section one and two parts, um, and this is the second part. All right, so we're going to talk about a um, couple of theorems that um, we're going to be using here. So tangent line to a circle theorem is what this theorem is called. So in a plane, a line is tangent to a circle if and only if the line is perpendicular to a radius of to a radius of a circle at its endpoint on the circle. So basically, um, if the line um, you can see down there in that example. So this line down here, um, it is tangent if the point where it touches the circle is perpendicular to this radius right here. So if it comes up from this point to the center of the circle, if it's perpendicular, then it is a tangent. So line M is a tangent to circle Q if and only if um, the measure uh, is perpendicular to QP if it's perpendicular to QP. All right, this is our next theorem. We'll jump, we'll do examples of all, with all of these um, after we look through the theorems. So this is the second theorem, external tangent congruence theorem. So um, tangent segments from a common external point are congruent. So basically, um, we've got point S right here, and um, these are tangent segments um, that connect, so tangent segments to the circle, so um, it could continue this way, and it is perpendicular, so this would be perpendicular here. Um, if, so from this, from this point to the tangent, like to the circle, so RS and ST are congruent. So those, are, those measures are going to be equal. So from a common external point, tangent segments from a common external point are congruent. All right, here we are. Let's do examples. So you can go ahead and pause this and um, write this down and we will jump into this. All right, so let's look at this. So we're looking in to see if ST is tangent to circle P. So what we need to know what we don't know. So I'm going to put in pink what we need to know. So what we need to know is if this angle right here is a right angle, if it's perpendicular, because that's what our theorem tells us. It tells us that, um, that if it's tangent, then it's perpendicular from that ray. So it comes from the circle to that point out there, and it has to be perpendicular. Um, so what we need to know is if that's a right angle. So how can we figure that out? Basically what we need to know is, is that triangle a right triangle, right? That's all we need to know. And if it is, then the longest side is across from the right angle, right? The hypotenuse is um, opposite the right angle. So if this is a right triangle, then yeah, ST is tangent. Um, but if it is not, if it is not a right triangle, then it's either an obtuse triangle and an acute triangle, which means that it would not, ST would not be tangent. So. How can we do this? Think about, and let's think back to using the Pythagorean theorem. So remember we had those inequality theorems. We said that um, if it was less than or greater than and not equal to, then it was not a right triangle and it was an, either an acute or obtuse triangle. So if it's equal to, so if 51 squared, the longest side squared, is equal to 44 squared plus 24 squared, then it is a right triangle and we would have a right angle. So you can go ahead, get out your calculator. So I'm gonna do this. So 51 squared is equal to 2,601. 44 squared is 1,936. 24 squared is 576. So 2,601 is 
equal to, if we add those together, what we get is 2,512. So there's a not equal to, therefore ST is not tangent. So the answer would be no. All right, so um, I hope that that problem makes sense to you. So I'm gonna go ahead, jump back over to our PowerPoint and we'll look at our next example. All right, so here's our next example. You can go ahead and write this example down. So what we're looking for is in that diagram, point S, is a point of tangency. So what we want to find is the radius. What is the radius of the circle? All right, so um, knowing that, we're gonna be able to find what it is. So you can go ahead, pause the video, um, write that down, and I will jump over and we'll work it. All right, so sorry my picture is a little bit wacky up, up in here, um, but that's okay. So what we need to find, we're finding the radius of the circle. We are to told point S is a point of tangency, which means that that angle is a right angle right there. We know that for a fact um, because of our theorem. Um, that is a right angle. So what we need to do um, to find R is we are going to use um, our uh, Pythagorean theorem again. Um, but this time, uh, it's gonna look a little bit different. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared still. And what we're looking at, so um, a, one of, our, one of our legs is r, so we'll have r squared. Another one of our legs is 20 meters, so 20 squared equals, all right, so this is where it's a little weird. So what we've got is we've got this, um, we split it into it's split into two parts. So what we need to do is we need to add those two parts together to get the whole side. So 10 plus r squared. All right. So we can go ahead and start solving. So we've got r squared plus 20 squared. So I'm just going to go ahead and do 20 squared. It's 400. All right, and this is gonna be a little bit of algebra. So what we're gonna to have to do is think about this multiplied times itself twice. And we're gonna to have to FOIL. So I hope you remember FOIL, F-O-I-L, FOIL. So I'm gonna write this, this stays the same. So FOIL means we're gonna multiply the first, so 10 times 10, the outside, it would be 10r. Inside is another 10r. And outside, or last, r. So I'm gonna do that with my fingers to show you. So we did first, outside, inside, last. First, outside, inside, last. So we foiled that. All right, and then we'll simplify. So we've got r squared, plus 400 equals 100, combining like terms, so plus 20r plus r squared. And then we will uh, continue just solving from there. So subtract 100, and I'm also gonna subtract r squared from both sides as well, which is going to cancel it. So that r squared goes away, 100, that r squared goes away. So we're left with um, 300 equals 20r. And then we will divide by the 20 to figure out what r is. So I hope you can see that down there. We're dividing by 20. And so r equals 300 divided by 20, which is 15. So the radius of our circle would be 15. And since they have it in meters, I'm gonna keep it in meters. 15 meters. So I hope that that um, was helpful to you. Um, what we used was we used that first um, theorem. We used the first theorem to know that this is a right triangle so we can use the Pythagorean theorem, which is what our whole last chapter was about. All right. So let's do another example. So I'm gonna jump back to the PowerPoint so you can write it down. 
this is going to be our last example and it's honestly probably um, one of the easier problems that you'll see in this section. Um, so RS, segment RS is tangent to circle C um, at point S, so S is that point of tangency, and RT, segment RT is tangent to circle C at T. So what we're going to do is we are going to find the value of X. So this is going to be using that second theorem. So if you wrote the theorems down, this is going to be using that second theorem. So go ahead, pause this video, write down this problem, and I will do that as well. All right, so here we are. Um, this is our last example. So this one is, as you can probably obviously see, is going to be that second theorem, so the external tangent congruence. Um, because they are both tangents, we know that they are going to be congruent. So this and that are going to be congruent. TR and SR are congruent. So what are we going to do? Obviously, we'll set up equal to each other. So 5x minus 7 equals 23, and we'll solve for x. So add 7 to both sides. 5x equals 30. Divide by 5. Divide by 5. x equals 6. So that theorem, um, basically what you have to make sure of is you have to make sure that they are both tangent lines. You have to make sure that they're both tangent to the circle or else they would not be congruent. But if they are, tangent segments from a common external point are congruent. So you just set them equal to each other and solve from there. All right, guys. So um, that finishes up chapter 10, section one. Um, I hope that you um, are able to do your homework, um, bring your questions to the Zoom meeting, and we'll do some practice if you don't have questions. Um, so yeah, I hope that this was helpful and I'll see you later.